Good evening to you. I'm Sonella Sabovic, and here's a look at the stories making news on this Saturday. A 29 year old Palestinian man arrested at a pro Palestine rally at Bayfront Park. Police took a Yad Kaki into custody after they say he continuously crossed through police caution tape that was set up for the safety of all protesters. The demonstrators denounced the killing of civilians in Gaza as Israeli forces step up their defense. The escalation of retaliatory attacks from Israel comes after Hamas terrorists launched a surprise attack that has led to the deaths of more than 3,300 people on both sides in one week alone. Today is the last day for Florida lawmakers to tour the 1200 building of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland before it is demolished. The crime scene from the Valentine's Day massacre where 17 people were killed and 17 others were injured more than five years ago is still frozen in time. Max Schachter, who lost his son Alex, is leading the effort and says he hopes the tour will influence lawmakers to improve school safety measures. A 13 year old boy is under arrest after confessing to police that he stabbed his mother to death in her sleep. Cell phone video shows the moment Derek Rosa walked out of their Amelia Oaks apartment off West 79th place. Police waited outside their home to arrest Rosa after he called 911 and told them that he killed his 39 year old mother, Irina Garcia. Now Rosa's mother was found lying next to her other child, a 14 day old baby girl who was luckily unharmed. Police are still investigating the motive behind this. They say people that who knew the 13 year old say he was nothing but a good kid and a straight A student. And a woman is hospitalized after an overnight shooting at a McDonald's in Northwest Miami Dade. Police and crime scene units scour the scene along Northwest 107th Street. We've learned the victim was rushed to Jackson Memorial's Ryder Trauma Center, but her condition remains unclear. No word yet on what led up to the gunfire or if any arrests have been made. We will keep you posted. And that's all for now. Remember, you could always stay up to the minute on breaking news headlines anytime on our web channel, local10.com. Have a good night.